Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. I just got off the phone with Mr. Marek Maciejewski, who is the Director of Product Development for TCL Europe. Basically, what happened was that I read a news story about TCL actually launching a QD OLED TV by the end of this year. And it took me by surprise because we are currently in September and it will be another three months before the end of 2020. It's been a very long year. So how is that even possible? So I got on the phone with Marek just to clarify the situation. And no, TCL's QD OLED televisions will not arrive, will not be launched onto the market at the end of 2020. It is going to be in 2021 when this brand will be releasing their QD OLEDs. And I think there just have been some misunderstanding on the part of the reporter who wrote the story. And also there are two parts to the story and people may get confused. So I'm going to clarify for the sake of accuracy because you know how I'm very particular on accuracy, image accuracy, news accuracy. So I wanted to hear directly from the horse's mouth. Not that, you know, I'm implying that Marek is a horse, you know, it's just a figure of speech. If anyone is a horse, it probably would be me because I was born in the year of the horse and my face is quite long. And in Chinese saying, you know, I have a horse face, you know, Malian, which is why I wear my hair in this sort of manner to frame my face in a more flattering fashion. And also I do wish that I'm hung like a... But let's clarify the story here. There are two stories that has been intermixed. First is obviously TCL launching their QD OLED next year. So from the point of view of QD OLED, how is it different from the WRGB OLED that has been implemented on all the consumer OLEDs that you see on the market today? With QD OLED, what you are doing is to use quantum dot technology to try and convert the blue OLED into green and red light. And therefore, it may improve color gamut because of quantum dots, very narrow color spectrum, and also very high color conversion efficiency. So it is possible that they can actually achieve a higher color gamut and even a higher color volume, assuming the brightness can get through okay than the WRGB OLEDs that are on the market today. So that is one story. And also, obviously, with QD OLEDs, I think, you know, we have to realize that currently, there is only one QD OLED supplier on the market, which is Samsung Display. Marek refuses to tell me whether it is Samsung Display or whether it is something homegrown, homebrewed. But, you know, if I was a betting person, you know, I would say that the QD OLED will be coming from Samsung Display. And, you know, I will probably be doing another video, if you're interested, of course, on Samsung Display and the battle between Samsung Display and Samsung Electronics with regards to marketing these quantum dot OLEDs. But that is one story from TCL's point of view, which is the focus of this video. And another story is that TCL has invested in JOLED, which is another company combined of several Japanese companies that is responsible for doing R&D in terms of printed OLED. And TCL, back in June, have publicly announced that they have invested 187 million US dollars into JOLED, which brings them a 10% stake. So that is a separate story. I think, you know, from the point of view of TCL's investment, actually, it's probably not TCL. It is probably TCL's subsidiary company, CSOT's investment into JOLED. That is probably more in an R&D phase at the moment, but they are trying to explore the possibility of making large-sized TV-sized OLED screens using inject printing technology. But the technology is not mature yet, so TCL's QD OLEDs next year will be 
using panels likely from Samsung Display and not from JOLED. So those are two separate stories. And I just wanted to do this quick video to clear the air, to put the record straight that TCL's Q, the OLEDs won't be arriving this year. And I think that, you know, by going with QD OLED rather than LG Display's WRGB OLED, you know, for their self-emissive technology next year, TCL is continuing their quantum dot story. So if you have looked at TCL's TV offerings over the past couple of years or so, they have been a big advocate, big user of quantum dot technology. For example, last year's 8 series and also the X10, mini LED televisions, they all have quantum dot enhancement film to give the wider color gamut. And also obviously with the natively high peak brightness, it gives an extremely impressive color volume. And then this year, the TCL 6 series mini LED in the States, which obviously I can't review because you know I'm stuck in the UK at the moment. They will also be using quantum dot technology. So TCL is actually a fairly big supporter of quantum dot tech. So by using QD OLED rather than adopting WRGB OLED, which is probably easier for most intents and purposes because WRGB OLED is more mature, is more stable, is, is likely to be more affordable in terms of the panels. But I think, you know, from the marketing point of view, TCL is doing the right move going with QD OLED. So I just wanted to set the record straight, really. And if you are interested in some other videos I've done talking about next-gen technology, such as micro LED, such as mini LED, such as dual layer LCD, and even QD OLEDs, you know, I will compile a playlist which you can click on here to have a look. And I'll see you in the next video.